Hi, in today's video, we will be seeing uh, how do we compare two quantities using ratios. So before moving to ratios, we will see what are the different ways in which we can compare two quantities. Okay, so we can compare two quantities by either difference or by division. Okay, let us see what does this mean. So, let us take an example. Suppose we have a student A and the marks obtained by student A is say 80 out of 100. Okay, and we have student B. The marks obtained by this student is say 40 out of 100. Now, we have to compare the two marks. We said ratio is nothing but comparison of two same quantities. We will see in details later what do we mean when we say that it is the comparison of two same quantities. So, let us come back to where we were. We have to compare the marks of student A with marks of student B. So, first we can compare it by taking a difference, subtracting the bigger value from the smaller value. So, 80 minus 40 gives you a 40. Okay. So, we can say that marks obtained by A is 40 more than that obtained by B. Okay, so this is one way of comparison of two quantities by taking the difference of the values of the two quantity. Now, let us see the other technique of comparison. A's marks we said were 80 and B's marks were 40. Now, what if we try to divide the two marks? If we do A mark, A's marks divided by B's marks, then this is 80 over 40. Correct? So, we say that A's marks is twice of B's mark. Okay, if we cancel out the common factors, we get 2 over 1. So, for every 1 mark obtained by B, A has obtained, for every 1 mark obtained by B, A has obtained 2 marks. So, we say that A's mark is twice of B's mark, correct? And this comparison by division is called the ratio. So, ratio is nothing but comparing 2 quantities by division. I hope this much is clear to all. Okay. Now, this comparison by division can also be written as A marks is to B marks is equal to 80 is to 40. This is the way we represent the ratio. Okay. So, ratio basically tells you How many times is one quantity of the other quantity? Ratio tells you how many times is one quantity of the other quantity. I hope this much is clear to everyone. So, ratio is basically comparison by division. Now, some facts about ratio. The first fact about ratio is that ratio doesn't have any unit. Why? Why does ratio doesn't have any unit? We have said earlier that ratio is nothing but comparison of two 
quantities having same unit okay what does that mean it means that we can compare height of a tree maybe with the height of a building okay both of these will be in the same unit maybe it can be in meters it can also be in meters however if we try it doesn't make sense to compare height of a tree maybe to a weight of a person okay these two quantities are in different unit this can be either in meters or this can be either in kilograms okay so what do we see here we see that this kind of quantities cannot be compared using the ratios for ratios we need to compare two quantities which are having the same unit now since we are comparing the two quantities having the same units so ratio basically is purely a number and we do not write the units while writing the ratios okay do not write units while writing the ratio ratio is purely a number and it is used to compare two quantities of the same unit while writing the ratio i hope this much is clear to everyone okay so in a ratio if the ratio is of the form a is to b then the first term of there are two terms in this ratio this is the first term and this is the second term the first term of the ratio is called as antecedent and the second term of the ratio is called consequent fine now any ratio it is always whenever a ratio is given to you it is always preferred that the ratio be written in the lowest form okay it should always be represented in its lowest form what does the lowest form mean we have learned in fraction by lowest form we mean that we have to cancel out all the common factors from the numerator and denominator so if we have a ratio of the form a is to b then to convert it to the lowest form find hcf of a and b and cancel out the common factor let us see this with an example common factors okay suppose we have a ratio 36 is to 50 now ratio is nothing but comparison by division so 36 is to 50 is nothing but 36 over 50 36 can be written as 2 into 3 into 2 into 3 and 50 can be written as 2 into 5 into 5 okay we cancel out the common factors is there anything else common no so we are left with 18 upon 25 so we say that 36 is to 50s in the lowest form is 18 over 25 and it is always preferred to represent the ratio in the lowest form okay so what do we see here that a ratio of 18 is to 25 can also be written as 36 is to 50 what have we done we have multiplied the numerator and the denominator by 2 to get 36 over 50 we can write 18 by 25 we can multiply it by 3 to get 54 over 75 all of these ratios on cancellation of the common factor or maybe on bringing them to the lowest form gives us 18 over 25 correct okay so we say that 18 is to 25 36 is to 50 and 54 is to 75 all are equivalent ratios 
just like equivalent fractions we have equivalent ratios okay so i hope this much is clear to everyone what do we mean by ratios why do we use ratios to compare two quantities of the same unit since we are comparing two similar quantities we never write the units while writing the ratio ratio is purely a number and it is always preferred to write the ratio in its lowest form so ratio is nothing but comparison by division okay so this is all about ratio in our next video we will um, learn what is proportion and what are the different kinds of proportion thank you